Welcome back to another show of Golf Tips. I'm your host and teaching professional, Gary Bauer. On today's show, I will show you how to hit a draw, a fade, and a straight shot with your driver. Plus, we'll visit the Dayton Dragons professional baseball team. Thanks for watching, we'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm on the driving range here at Homestead Golf Course where we have shot previous shows. Fantastic facility and a fantastic course to play located in Tip City, Ohio. Now, I'm gonna show you on this first segment how to hit a draw. It's not hard. I'm gonna show you the basic setup and how to do that shot. Now, first of all, when you do tee up, make sure that you tee up half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. You don't wanna tee the ball up extremely low or extremely high. So half above this edge, half into the club face. Now, I'm a right-handed golfer. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm about to say. So I'm gonna tee up. Now ball position for me will be off the inside left heel. My feet will be shoulder width for balance. My hands will be under my chin, club head and back the ball. And that's gonna give me the proper distance from the golf ball. So I'm gonna set up. We wanna change one thing. We don't wanna have our feet, our toes, even or lined up. We're gonna put the left foot up and the right foot back. The right foot is gonna be back maybe about an inch at the most. So we're gonna set up. Got my left foot ahead, my right foot back, about an inch. And that's gonna force me to bring the club back on an inside path around and through it. And we want our hands to finish around by our left shoulder, left ear. So that's more or less going to give us sort of a roundhouse swing as we go through the shot. So let me take some practice swings here. And my hands will come around by my left shoulder, left ear. So we set up with all your woods, again, ball position, left heel. I got my left foot up a little bit, my right foot back about an inch. And I'm going to bring the club face back, the club head back on an inside path around and through it. And this is how you hit a draw. Perfect. Here we go. Okay. All right, around and through it. Let's hit another one. It's not a hard shot to do. It's just to know the right fundamentals on how to set up to hit that shot. So I got the ball off my left heel. I'll have my left foot ahead of my right foot. My right foot's gonna be dropped back about an inch. That will force me to come back on an inside path, face around by my left shoulder, left ear. As we turn through the shot, right knee will turn up by left knee, and that's my weight transfer. Good. Hands finished around and through. All right, let's try another one. And try to always make sure that your feet are shoulder width for balance. If you have too wide of a stance, you can't turn into the shot. You can't get your right knee up by your left knee. You can't transfer your weight to your left side. So I got the left foot up. My right foot is back about an inch. I'm gonna bring the club on an inside path on the takeaway. My hands will finish around by my left shoulder, left ear. Perfect. Okay. And you can see my right knee will turn up by my left knee and that gives me a weight transfer to my left side. I get through the shot. A lot of people, they hang back on their right side and that will cause them to push it or slice it also. You have to get around and through the shot. Let's try another one. So I got the T height. Ball position left heel. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. Left foot up, the right foot back. It's almost like a dance, dance move, dance step. The club will come back on an inside path, around and through it. My hands will face around by my left shoulder, left ear. Here 
Here we go. Pretty long too. With that draw, the ball will have overspin and it will hit and kick forward. So you'll gain some distance. Let's try another one. So ball position left heel. My right foot's back about an inch. The takeaway, the club will sweep back on the inside path, around, my hands will finish around by my left shoulder, left ear, and weight will transfer to my left side as my right knee turns up by my left knee. Great. Okay, one more. So I got the T height, half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. Ball position left heel. Feet are shoulder width for balance. Got that right foot back. Club will sweep back on inside path. Right knee up by left knee on the downswing and a good turn. Perfect. And there we go, nice little draw and good distance. So once you have the right fundamentals, you can hit that draw. Don't be afraid to come around and through the shot. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Thanks for watching. Now in this second segment, I'm gonna show you how to hit a fade. And a fade is a shot that you can control. Again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm about to say. So we're gonna set up, got the driver, ball position will be off my inside left heel. My feet will be shoulder width for balance. Again, we know how high to tee the ball, half the ball above the top edge of the club head, half into the club face. Now, what we do different to fade the ball is, and I'm a right-handed golfer, we take the left foot and we drop it back. We bring the right foot up just a little bit. So your feet aren't squared up, your right foot is up slightly ahead of your left foot. Now this will give you more of an outside, inside path, and you'll sort of slice across the ball, okay? So we'll set up, take some practice swings, Got my left foot back a little bit. Around and through it, ball position still off the inside left heel. My left foot is back. My right foot is up a little bit. And there it goes. And we fade the ball. Okay, not a hard shot. Let's try it again. So ball position, left heel. My feet are shoulder width. I got the left foot slightly back, maybe about an inch as compared to the right foot. Right foot is up. That will give me a little bit of that outside in swing, so to speak, where I sort of slice across the ball, the swing path. Hands are below my chin. Perfect. Right knee up by left knee. My hand still finished around by my left shoulder, left ear. Pretty far on that one. Back and through it. All right. So it's not a hard shot. You just have to know the right fundamentals. And again, make sure you play the ball left heel. If you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite. Playing the, the ball too far forward, like I mentioned, will cause you to slice it. If you play the ball back towards the middle, you'll smother the ball and probably hook it or pull it left. So I got the ball off the inside left heel. My left foot is back. My right foot is up a little bit, about an inch. So I have an open stance. And that'll cause me to slice across the ball a little bit. 
Perfect. Good ball. All right. Let's try some more here. Now always make sure your hands are under your chin. That gives you the proper distance from the golf ball. I see a lot of my students, they'll, st they'll set up and they'll stand way too far back and they're an all arm swing. Well, you do have to use your body on the down swing to transfer your weight. So hands are under your chin. Ball position, left heel. I got my left foot back, right foot up about an inch. That'll cause me to slice across the ball. Back and through it. Perfect. And see that club on the back swing won't go to an inside path. All right. Let's hit one more here. Got the T height, ball position, left heel, open stance, left foot back, the right foot is up about an inch. Swing path will come a little bit outside, outside in swing. My hands will finish around by my left shoulder, left ear, right knee up by left knee as I transfer my weight. Perfect. Real good. So see, it's not a hard shot. That's how you hit a fade. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now in this last segment of today's show, I'm going to show you how to hit the dreaded straight shot. Yes, the straight shot, the shot that we want to keep in play. And balance is the key. Again, I have my driver. Ball position is off the left heel, inside left heel. My feet will be shoulder width for balance. My hands will be under my chin, club head and back the ball. That's going to give me the proper distance from the golf ball. And don't be afraid to hit this club. A lot of people, they go out and they want to tee off the three wood. A driver, it's not a hard club to hit. You just have to know the right fundamentals to get that ball out there. So now let's cover the straight shot, the ball that we want to keep in play. That's what's important. Now again, I got the ball. I'm going to line it up off my left heel. My feet will be shoulder width. My hands will be under my chin. If you remember with the draw, I played my left foot up. With the fade, I had my right foot ahead of my left foot. With a straight shot, a fairly straight shot, you want to square your feet, your hips, and your shoulders up. And it's just back with the arms, down with the arms, and turn. Your hands will finish around by your left shoulder, left ear. The right knee will turn up by the left knee, and that will give you that weight transfer to your outside left foot. So you want to square everything up to keep the ball in play, not to fade it, not to draw it. So my feet will be even across, my hips will be squared up, my shoulder line, shoulders will be squared, and it's back and through it with the arms. So we'll take a few practice swings. And again, make sure your hands face around by your left shoulder, left ear, because you want to get through the shot. You want to transfer your weight. So arms and turn. So set up, got the ball off the left heel, got the proper T height, feet are shoulder width, Hands are below my chin. Wow, that's as straight as straight can be there. Everything was squared up. Pretty good. Let's try some more. Feet squared up, hips squared up, shoulders squared up. Back and through it with the arms. Hands come around by my left shoulder, left ear. There's a setup. Look out of my target line and around and through it. Very good. Hands finished around by my left shoulder, left ear. Right knee up by left knee. Good weight transfer. Let's try some more. And the key is balance. You gotta have balance to hit a good golf shot. A lot of people 
they sway back, they sway forward. They almost look like they're in a dance class. Balance is very important. So it's back and through it with the arms. My left shoulder comes up, I'm going to top it or hit it low. Shoulders just rotate around. So again, my feet will be squared up. Feet shoulder width, hands are below my chin. Hands will finish around by my left shoulder, left ear, right knee up by left knee. Perfect. Very good. That's straight as straight can be. Yep. Let's try some more. Key is balance. You've got to have balance to hit a good golf shot. Okay. Now, some people like to flare their left foot out, and that's fine if you want to do that. That's uh, totally up to you. Some people like to have their feet squared up. That's your preference. But the main thing is you want to transfer your weight to your left side. The right knee will turn up by your left knee, and the hands will finish around by your left shoulder, left ear. And again, if you're a left-handed golfer, it's just the opposite of what I'm saying. Set up. Ball positions there. Good turn. Arms and turn. Perfect. That's straight as straight can be also. Very good. All right. Let's hit a couple more. And as you can see, when I swing, I don't sway back and forth, stay pretty much still, and let my arms rotate around my body and get a good weight transfer to my left side. I actually pulled that a little bit. Yeah. So I turned with my left shoulder a little bit too soon. So I didn't get my arms down quick enough. I got up here and just turned a little quick, pulled it left. All right, one more here. Back and through it with the arms. Feet shoulder width, feet are squared up. Toes are even across, ball position left heel. Hands are below my chin. There we go. Real good. Okay, so that's how you keep the ball in play. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. At this time, I've arrived here at Fifth Third Field in Dayton, the home of the Dayton Dragons. And at this time, I'd like to interview Mr. Joel Kuno. Hi, Joel. How you doing, buddy? Good. How are you doing, sir? I understand you also are a golfer. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. So what do you shoot for 18 holes? 18 holes, really mostly uh, you get mid-90s. Mid-90s. That's not bad. Okay. So if you hit some bad shots, Joel, what do you think uh, you do? Do you slice the ball? Do you top the ball? Do you hook the ball? Uh, I slice the ball a lot. Slice the ball a lot. Okay, so it goes out to the right. Joel's a right-handed golfer. So I'm going to have Joel hit some shots here, and we're going to critique his golf swing and see what we can uh, correct here. All right? Good. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, now the first thing I saw with Joel is grip is very good. Has interlock grip, and that's fine. His feet are shoulder width for balance. That was pretty good. His hands are under his chin, clubbing back the ball. That gives him the proper distance from the golf ball. So that, that looked really good. Nice setup, okay? Now what I did notice is on the back swing, Joel would pick up his left foot. So he would sway back and sway forward, okay? Now in the old school days, back in the 60s and 70s, they used to pick their left foot up, but they had good balance. They would come down and turn into the shot. So the first thing I want to do with Joel is we want to keep that left foot more planted on the ground, okay, on the backswing. Second, I want him to finish around by his left shoulder, left ear. So I want you to bring that club around by his left shoulder, left ear to get a good weight transfer through the shot. 
If we block it or push it to the right, we're leaning or swaying out. And that's because we're doing this, rocking back and forth. So we want to turn into the shot, okay? Now take you some practice swings again. Let's see what we got. Now left foot's going to stay still, and he's going to bring his hands around by his left shoulder, left ear. There we go. Now his right knee will turn it by his left knee, and that's his weight transfer to his outside left foot. Okay, now get that right knee up by your left knee now as you turn into it. Now that looked pretty good. That's the same way that, that Tom swings, I believe. Not bad. One more practice swing. Again, your grip looks pretty good. All right, let's hit a shot here. So he's got the ball position off the middle or center of the stance, the four through nine iron ball position middle. His feet are shoulder width for balance. His hands are under his chin. We're not going to sway back and his hands come around by his left shoulder, left ear. So he leaned a little bit and that opened that club face up. All right, see a practice swing, Joel. So we want those hands to come through and the hands come around by your left shoulder, left ear. All right, good shot now. See what we got. Not bad. Direction, perfect. So he came through it. Pretty good. All right. See another practice swing or two. So we're working on balance. We don't want his left foot to come up on the back swing. His right knee will turn it by his left knee on the down swing. And hands will finish around by his left shoulder, left ear. All right, good shot. Arms and turn. Okay, a little bit to the right, a little bit of a push there. And Joel, let me borrow your club there. So what's happening is on the downswing, as you're coming through, you're just leaning a little bit. See how that opens that club? Yep. Yeah, and then we'll hit it out to the right. So we want to finish around more, and your hands will come around, and they'll finish by your left shoulder, left ear. All right, take a few more practice swings. Setup looks real good. Balance, feet are shoulder width. Hands will come around by his left shoulder, left ear. Perfect. One more practice swing. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, not bad, a little bit of a push again. Okay, let's try it again. So we gotta finish around and through the shot. If we come up and out of the shot, we block it or push it right. Perfect, all right, let's see a shot here. See what we got. So his feet are shoulder width, ball position middle, of the four through nine iron off the middle or center of the stance. His hands are below his chin, setup is real good. Oh, that was perfect. He had a little bit of a draw there. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. So after your baseball career is over with, you could probably, years from now, years from now, play on the senior tour. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we are working on that one first. We're working on getting the score down just a little bit. Arms and turn. All right, let's see a good shot here. Absolutely perfect. Joel, you did fantastic, buddy. Way Thank to go. You. Yeah. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Welcome back. Now I have pitcher Scott Moss of the Dayton Dragons here, and he's a left handed golfer, but He's going to turn this right-handed club upside down and show you how to hit a treble shot. Okay? There you go. All right. So he's my lefty, but he's got a right-handed club. Now go ahead and take some practice swings. Again, he has the club upside down. 
Sometimes you have to do this to keep it under a tree or punch it out, hit a low punch shot. So he can have a narrow stance because this is a punch shot. His hands will be under his chin. Grip looks real good. And you hope you're never in these situations. That is true. You don't want to be in a situation like this. Absolutely. All right, Scott, let's see what you got here, buddy. Now remember, the club is upside down. He's a left-handed golfer. Wow, that was perfect. That was great, man. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, but you did it. <laughs> Good job. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, let's see, let's see a practice swing or two. All right. See, these guys are athletes. They can do almost anything. Very nice, okay. <laughs> that is great, man. Way to go, that's a great punch shot. Thank you very again. Much. So see, he's staying down, he's keeping his balance, he's letting his arms come back and through it. And again, he's got the club upside down, and he's a left-handed golfer using a right-handed club. All right, let's see some more here. Awesome. Very good. Setup is good. Wow. And that's how you do it. See, he kept his balance. He stayed down, followed around and through it. We'll see some more. Awesome. Yep. Fantastic. See, as long as you keep your balance, bring your arms back and through it, the club face will come back to the ball, no matter what side of the ball you're on, and you'll get that ball in the air. All right, a few more shots here, Scott. Sounds good. Okay, hit a little bit behind that, wow. He's human after all, so he dropped his left shoulder, that dropped the club, and we hit a fat or heavy, but hey, again, he's a left-handed golfer using a right-handed club, holding it upside down. All right, one more. Absolutely perfect, way to go. Scott, you did great, man. Thank you very, very much. Very good. Thank you. We'll be right back with more golf tips. Well, that concludes today's show. I'd like to thank Joel, Scott, and Tom for having us down here at Fifth Third Stadium, home of the Dayton Dragons. Thanks for watching and join me next time on Golf Tips with teaching professional Gary Bauer.